Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mardos. I'm Gerard, and this week we're going to talk about Maduro wrappers on cigars. But before we get going, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes on Mondays with Mardos. All right, so what is a Maduro wrapper? Well, in Spanish, um, with the research that I have done, Maduro means ripe or it's been matured. And when it comes to cigars and using a Maduro wrapper, essentially what it does is it makes the tobacco a lot sweeter. That is because it's being fermented for a lot longer. So when it comes to the aging curve, the longer the tobacco ages, the sweeter it gets because the starch turns into more of a sugar, so therefore that's why you get the sweetness in a Maduro wrapper. In today's day and age in the cigar industry, Maduro wrappers are getting very, very, um, not basically complicated, but uh, there's been going on a lot of different type of experimental things. You have Maduro wrappers from Brazil, you have Maduro wrappers from Peru, you have Maduro wrappers that are being uh, <clears throat> processed out of Corojo. But today we're just gonna talk about two Maduro wrappers, the Mexican San Andreas and the Connecticut Broadleaf. All right, so what does a Maduro wrapper do for a cigar? It definitely makes it sweeter. As I mentioned before, it turns the starch into sugars the longer you age the wrapper. The two most popular wrappers when it comes to Maduro is the San Andreas Maduro from Mexico and in the Connecticut Broadleaf, like here you see on the Sinistro Las Cowboy. Reason why these are the top two choices for manufacturers or people that like to age wrappers is because the quality of these wrappers is very high. When you are aging tobacco, you're gonna lose a lot, uh, thinning out the wrapper, um, the beetles. So when it comes to these two, the quality is very high, so therefore it can actually endure the process. You have wrappers that come from Brazil, you have Corojo, Sumatra, you have all sorts of different type of Maduros, but these two are the most popular. All right, so the last thing I wanna share with you is what to look for when you're looking at a Maduro cigar. A Maduro wrapper naturally is always going to be blotchy because it is a process that undergoes and it's a natural thing. So therefore, some areas of the leaf is going to be darker than others. This Sinistro Last Cabo Maduro is a prime example of a true Maduro that has not been enhanced. There are a lot of cigars out there on the market to give you that beautiful, uniform, one color, a very dark Maduro it has had enhancements. Um, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily, but I do appreciate a Maduro in its natural state. As I'm not sure if the camera can show this, but next time if you do purchase like a Sinistro Maduro or a Jake White Herbert Spencer, you can see the blotchiness and you can see some areas gonna have some dark spots and some areas are gonna be a little bit lighter. That is because that's the natural state of a Maduro. So if you do see a cigar that has a very uniform, very dark uh, Maduro wrapper on it, do put in consideration they may have some enhanced um, features to it that they use some kind of coloring so therefore it looks a little bit better. That's not so bad um, in its case. I don't mind it, but I do appreciate when something is in its natural state. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Let me know if it was informative and if you've done any of your own research on Maduro wrappers. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. But remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and remember to tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye.